were you able to talk about it? Can you believe what she's saying about me? Can you believe that? And you're able to talk about it. Then you get an invite from this same person that you was just sitting over dinner crying about the following week, and you show up. You don't love yourself for you to be hanging out with these type of people. Nobody who loves themselves. with my life and the way I ended up on this path was from a very tragic event. I was uh, I, maybe 19 and my girlfriend at the time was killed in a car accident and I passed the accident and I didn't know it was her and I kept going and I found out shortly after that it was her and I was living in a basement apartment. I had no money I had no heat, no air, I had a mattress on the floor, and the apartment was infested with fleas, and I was soul searching. I was like, why is she suddenly gone and there are fleas here? I don't understand. There must be a purpose, and wouldn't it be so convenient if we could just pick up the phone and call God and ask these questions? And I started writing, and what poured out of me was an imaginary conversation with God, which was one-sided, and I finished writing it, and I looked at it, and I said, to myself, and I hadn't even been doing stand-up ever. There was no club in town. I said, I'm going to do this on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. At the time, he was the king. And I'm going to be the first woman in the history of the show to be called over to sit down. And several years later, I was the first woman in the history of the show, and only woman in the history of the show, to sit down because of that phone conversation with God that I wrote. And I started this path of, of stand-up, and it was successful and it was great but it was hard because I was trying to please everybody and I had the secret that I was keeping that I was gay and I thought if people found out they wouldn't like me they wouldn't laugh at me then my career turned into I got my own sitcom and uh, that was very successful another level of success and I thought what if they find out I'm gay then they'll never watch and um, I finally decided that I was living with so much shame and so much fear that I just couldn't live that way anymore and I decided to come out and make it creative and my character would come out at the same time and it wasn't to make a political statement, it wasn't to do anything other than to free myself up from this heaviness that I was carrying around and I just wanted to be honest. And I thought, what's the worst that can happen? I can lose my career. I did. I lost my career. I got The, the show was canceled after six years without even telling me. I read it in the paper. Um, the phone didn't ring for three years. I had no offers, nobody wanted to touch me at all, um, and yet I was getting letters from kids that almost committed suicide that didn't because of what I did, and I realized that I had a purpose, and it wasn't just about me, and it wasn't about celebrity, but I felt like I was being punished, and it was a bad time, I was angry, I was sad, and then I was offered a talk show, and the people that offered me the talk show tried to sell it, and most stations didn't want to pick it up. Most people didn't want to buy it because they thought nobody would watch me. And uh, really, when I look back on it, I wouldn't change a thing. I mean, it was so important for me to lose everything because I found out what, what the most important thing is, is to be true to yourself. What do you want to go? What do you want to do? What do you want to be? What do you want to see? Without dreams and visions, people perish. You've got to have something to go for that inspires the heart and the soul. Dream. You've got to dream. Don't lose your dream. Dreams without goals remain dreams. Just dreams and ultimately fuel disappointment. Dreams without goals, yearly goals, life goals, daily goals, monthly goals, hourly goals, minute by minute goals. 
Dreams without goals are just dreams. And they ultimately fuel disappointment. Goals on the road to achievement cannot be achieved without discipline and consistency. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. I didn't get it until I got to this age, but I'm gonna start running. I messed up junior high, but now I'm gonna start running. I messed up high school, but now I'm gonna start running. The moment you get the word, you ought to run. The Bible says the day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. When God gives you a chance at an excuse,